mom and my dad and even some of my friends said to me, Sarah, you're such a beautiful person. <laughs> but they use that adjective to describe the inner me. Not the person that everyone sees, but when everyone sees my friends walking down the street, they shower them with self-image affirming. Baby girl, you look so fine. Can I speak with you for a minute? <laughs> but never had I been called to. Never had I been hollered at. Instead, when people got close enough to see past the oversized sweaters and jogging pants, they said to me, they said to me, Sarah, you have such a pretty face. And that compliment cut me. It cut right into my gut, which enveloped around me like a suit of armor, leaving only my face unshielded, leaving my face to be the only place to receive blessings from miles containing double-edged swords. Love of my face, leaving my body untouched by those sweet syllables of want. Because those compliments, those, your hair is so pretty, your face is so pretty, is what drove me to get colored contacts, so maybe one day I could get you are so pretty, but instead I got your eyes are so pretty. Those compliments were those insults to the rest of me. So January came along and I started a lifestyle change. 30 pounds gone and I finally felt beautiful. Not because I felt a sudden rush of confidence replacing where the weight had been, but because I finally got my holla little mama. How you doing, beautiful shawty? I just gotta say, you got a nice ass and that nice ass compliment made me feel beautiful. It made me feel wanted, but to be wanted is not equivalent to beauty. Huh. My representation of what I thought it was to be beautiful was misguided. You see, we as a people use, use beautiful as an ad adjective, but we need to recognize it's a verb and a noun. Being beautiful isn't about your face, your weight, your gene size, the way you look. <laughs> beautiful starts by recognizing beautiful. My representation of what I thought it was to be beautiful was misguided. To be beautiful, one must feel affirmed, but it's by those affirmations where one finds the true quality of your beauty. You see, I always wanted my body to be beautiful. My body, my shallow corpse that I'll leave behind when my time comes, but never did I pay attention to when I was a beautiful person, a beautiful being. See, those are the types of compliments that truly affirm someone, so call someone beautiful. Look into their eyes and try to send a unique message speaking of their natural beauty to the ponds of their souls, to their irises, because you are a beautiful person is a nice-ass compliment. Oh!